Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with an interesting new arrival here this afternoon and I must admit I'm a little skeptical because last time I opened up a product like this, it didn't go very well. Today I do have the TriStar Hidden Treasures Game Day Greats Blind Box Autograph Football Jersey product. And the reason I'm a bit hesitant is because last time we checked out a Blind Box Auto Jersey to be fair, it was from Leaf. It was not from TriStar. It was from Leaf. Completely different company. Uh, they were custom jerseys. They smelled weird, and they didn't look right whatsoever. So we did not offer those for personal breaks. I don't know what Bossman ended up doing with them, but after I previewed it, I was I was not pleased with it whatsoever. But we've had pretty good luck with TriStar mini helmets. I really like those. Now, I know these won't be full-fledged jerseys just because of what we paid for them at cost. So there's no way they could be, you know, like super, like, fancy NFL official jerseys plus the signatures themselves but there are some nice names here and the jerseys don't look bad so maybe they're just licensed maybe not like full-fledged jerseys but still licensed I mean that's the hope here I hope they're not fake jerseys again uh, but of course they do have names here like Brady uh, Devonta Smith uh, Jalen Hurts Jalen Waddle on the back we got Patrick Mahomes on the back we do have Josh Allen Jamar Chase Travis Atten Jr., Gronk. So there's some really nice names here on the advertisement. Current players, Hall of Famers, and football favorites. Look for these pictured and many more. It also does say all product is inserted, no redemption. So there won't be a redemption in here. Although it doesn't feel like there'd be just a redemption anyway. So that wasn't something I'd be worried about. But I guess sometimes in Jersey products, uh, you can find redemptions. I haven't experienced that myself, but it's nice that they put that on the box. But anyways, like I like I said, little 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 skeptical of this product, but I am cautiously optimistic. So let's go ahead and jump on into it and see what we'll find in here by snapping us into the corner. Now let's take a look at the box a little bit more up close and personal. So it does say autographs authenticated by TriStar, PSA DNA, and JSA or Beckett. So they are going to be authenticated autographs. There's like I said, look for these and many more. Or tristarhiddentreasures.com is their website. But we've had, we've had good luck. I really enjoy their mini helmet products. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we will find. Like I said, a little worried, but you, know, you don't knock until you try it. So we're trying it. We're going to see what it looks like. And I'll let you guys know my thoughts afterwards. Regardless of the name that we pull, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on this product afterwards. But all right, we've cut the seal. Do, 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 do. What do we have here? All right, so, all right, Hall of Fame, 99. I can't make out that autograph. So hopefully it says here. All right, Ozzy Newsome. So they have these little sheets just like they do with the mini helmets. 1979, first round draft pick for the Browns. Retired as the all-time leading tight end receiver and fourth among all receivers. Two times Super Bowl champion, Pro Football Hall of Fame inductee in 1999. Three-time Pro Bowl selection. Caught a pass in 150 consecutive games. That's a lot of games. That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and take this out. It is in a giant Ziploc. Fold it up. It is JSA authenticated. But all right, let's see what this jersey looks like. We're unsnapping. I'm going to go ahead and open up this bag. I do want to take a look. It smells like the inside of my viola case. So it probably also smells like the inside of a violin case. It's a very distinct smell, but it doesn't smell like weird dollar store like the Leaf ones did. All right, but there is the autograph there, Ozzy Newsome. I like the Hall of Fame inscription, 99. All right, so the tag here does say made in the Philippines. So it looks like it is one of those custom jerseys, but it doesn't look as bad as the leaf one did of course this is just one sample of many of course i would most i would really prefer to have all licensed products but having these in the shop wouldn't be bad i don't think this would be bad to have in the shop not sure that i'd be too comfortable with putting it on the website but overall this this does look nice like i said no logos or anything uh looks better then the leaf one if you guys i know i keep complaining about this leaf football opening i'll go ahead and link it right up there for that blind box jersey uh, wasn't happy with that at all. This one smells interesting. Like I said, smells like violin slash viola case. For those of you that know what that smells like will know exactly what I'm talking about. Everybody else is just kind of confused. It's like a mix of like wood and rosin. It's, I don't know. Interesting. It's not a bad smell. It's just 
It's just a smell. Usually you open a product, you don't expect there to be a smell. Uh, but the jersey itself doesn't feel bad. Like I said, it does seem like a lot better quality than that other product we've checked out before, but it does appear to once again be custom jerseys. And it does have the authentication sticker though. There is a JSA, a little tiny JSA sticker right there. So of course it is authentic signed by Ozzy Newsome, just not necessarily NFL authentic jersey. But not a bad looking custom jersey if that's something that doesn't bother you. Overall, a little... I was hoping me, I mean, a shirt seat wouldn't fit for a, a product like this. That's not, that doesn't count as a jersey, but does this count as a jersey as well? I don't know, but like I said, they do seem better qualities than those leaf ones. So I might just go ahead and tell Bossman to put them in the shop. But if you guys are really obsessed with this, I suppose we could put it up on the site for personal breaks. Uh, I, I would lean towards no, but if you guys in the comments are like, Allie, we need it. Uh, definitely let me know if you guys would like to see it up there because otherwise I don't think that they'll get put up and Then we do have the Unfortunately all bent up little JSA certificate here, but of course always nice to have the autograph authentication Especially with stuff like this. Yeah, you know, always nice to have and I appreciate the little little details TriStar gives us here uh, With each of their blind box products, but yeah overall better impression that, that, that's, that's basically what I have for you all here better impression than that leaf product wouldn't be for me, but doesn't make me feel as iffy about it as the Leaf one did. This is just a sample, though. I'm not sure the quality of the custom jerseys, bootleg jerseys, however you wish to call them, because that's what they are. I'm not sure how the other ones would fare. This one seems nice. It feels nice. Doesn't smell like weird dollar store. So, um, of course, nice looking signature. I like the inscription and I like, of course, that it's authenticated. So definitely seems to be more of a case by case personal basis. If you don't mind stuff like this, this seems like it'd be a cool, fun product to check out. I personally wouldn't touch it just because uh, uh, jerseys are so expensive, though. That's the thing is you can't have like a fun blind box jersey product with like real, real jerseys because it would just the price would be ridiculous. So that is something that's a little unfortunate is why I expected I was hoping that it wouldn't be, but I was expecting custom jerseys. But I think that does it here for this product opening. Once again, what we checked out here this afternoon was TriStar Hidden Treasures Game Day Greats. Uh, not sure when this released, not sure if it's new. Sometimes we get TriStar stuff a little bit later than the official release date. So it could be releasing today. Could have been a couple weeks ago, could have been a month. I don't know, but didn't want to go ahead and show it with you guys. Check it out. Because of course we were curious what it was going to be like as well. So why not go ahead and record it and share it with you all so you guys can make your own informed decision as well. But yes, that will do it here for our first of two weird football openings here on the channel this evening. Up next... Uh, we are going to be checking out, seems like Panini's trying to bring back the NFL 5 TCG. So we're going to be opening up a booster box of that. Uh, it definitely is interesting. I mean, definitely more of a, I would say, kid-oriented product. But, I mean, it'd be cool to see what actions the Tom Brady card does if we find it. So that'll be interesting to check it out next. Not really traditional, traditional football products, but a couple of new things to check out for you all here on the channel. So make sure to stay tuned for that opening that is coming up next. But yes, I believe that does it here for this video. So if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments are me. Drop those down below. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here, do I have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have 12 Black Label fans, Andin, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Sultari, Mark Mardini, MT, Sean F, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also have eight Gem Mint fans. Marco Verrer, Dusty Archuleta, Jared Geek, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Ryan Michael, Scorecard Collectibles, and William Hastings. But thank you so much again to all of our channel members, and all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But yes, this does it for memorabilia openings here tonight, but we do have another interesting football opening coming up next. And I'll be wrapping things on off here on this Thanksgiving Eve with a personal break of a box of Women of Star Trek. So that is licensed for sure just not sports related whatsoever but yeah still a couple more videos coming to the channel this evening so take care everybody stay safe hope to catch you all in the next video bye